What's up, viewers? It's your girl Shy here with another vlog post. So, Carnival veterans will basically tell you that Carnival is a very big industry, and if you have the means to play mass, it can get very expensive, especially when you're trying to look your best. Well, I'm here to help you cut down on some of those costly headaches with my DIY Carnival series. So in this video, you will see essential tools and supplies that I use to make most of my Carnival accessories. And for access to the complete blog post, please be sure to visit www.tingsnice.com. And there you will find a printable shopping list to go along with this video. So if I've grabbed your attention, or if you know someone who's ready to get cute for carnival, please be sure to number one, subscribe, number two, give this a thumbs up, and three, please, please, please share the video. You ready? Let we go. All right, so first up we have the glue gun. You can get the popular mini size glue gun, which can be found in your, your general craft stores or you can get the real glue gun, which is more powerful and can be found in your Home Depot or Lowe's. And it also has this nice little kickstand that you can use to hold the glue gun up instead of it resting on the table. To go along with the glue gun, you're going to need glue sticks. So for the mini glue gun, you have mini glue sticks. They come in somewhat longer tubes sometimes, and then you have high temperature glue sticks, which are for your regular glue gun. High temp is best. So I now introduce you to E6000, and E6000 is probably one of my favorite craft supplies. It is an industrial strength glue. It does take 24 hours to dry completely, so if you're in a rush, you would probably have to use a glue gun, but E6000 is a life-changing product. Then you have duct tape, and these versions are just smaller. They're about an inch wide or so, and it's perfect for using wire and things and instead of having to get the big version and then cut it up. That's very, it's very painful. So getting these smaller versions is great. I think it's uh, common knowledge that you will need scissors at some point in time, but just as a reminder, I'm just putting this out there for you. Sharpie marker, again, pretty self-explanatory. And some very, very handy tools, especially when you're doing wire work, are various pliers. So I have two flathead pliers here, which are great for bending wires. And then I have a round nose pliers, which is used for making curves, making loops in wire. And I like to have two of the flat heads so that you can use them simultaneously when trying to make things even. These are wire cutters that you will need if you will be engaging in any wire bending activities. Uh, this was found at Home Depot or Lowe's and they are very strong so make sure you're cautious. When I'm working with fabric, I like to use this tabletop ruler. It's also great for a cutting guide for me to roll my tool along. And then this is the tool that I'm speaking of is my blade cutter, my rolling blade cutter, that is better than using scissors. I absolutely love it. Then you have your tape measure, which is very important. You do not want to be making things and having things looking lopsided. So measurements are key. So make sure you have a flexible measuring tape to use. This is 14 gauge wire. You can find it at Home Depot, right? Um, usually by the sections where they have the picture hanging items. And last and certainly not least, you have your trim and your carnival bling. You cannot be found on a road without these items. It's on every piece of carnival wear. So be sure to stock up on your trim and your bling of your liking. <laughs> 